Hi, welcome to Scott's Inverts. I'm Scott. These are the inverts. Today we are going to look at the rainbow millipedes. In fact, this care video can be applied to any of the millipedes that come from Vietnam rainforests and that type of an area. So let's crack on with today's video and check out these absolutely beautiful, stunning millipedes and their setup. Now you will find these guys in Vietnam, uh, Atio, Pachetius, uh, Dolly Fusi, and the Tonkinian Bolus. Dolifusi are the main two species. So let's start by looking at the actual substrate that we're using in our enclosure that I'm going to show you in just one second. Now the substrate that I'm using is an isopod mix. So any isopod mix substrate that you can find online or from your favorite sellers is absolutely perfect. It will consist of like pot and compost, little bits of oak, tiny pieces of oak leaf and, and uh, decaying matter also. And it's absolutely brilliant. Now I've got here a bag of oak mulch that I bought from the show. It's really important though that before putting that into your enclosure that you really go through it. I did find a centipede, I found a millipede in there and some worms and all sorts. The worms are fine, centipedes not so much. And what I do is the isopod mix on the bottom and then put the oak mulch across the top what i'm showing you here is white wood you can find it in any forest just look for a fallen over tree and have a look on the inside of that tree if it's white and it flakes off really really easy that's what we want to be using um, it will crumble down and go into that substrate really really easy um, so once you do that you mix your substrate up and then the oak leaves you want to put across the top of the actual substrate itself and those oak leaves this is a little bit of mold on the them, do not worry that is kind of the millipedes favorite food absolutely awesome stuff and I'm just combining a little bit more leaves with that base layer right on the screen right now and what I also do as an added little protein boost is dried shrimp I only add a real small amount because if you add too much of this stuff it can kind of go moldy a little bit too quickly and it can really spoil the substrate so just put a little tiny pinch in that's all that's needed if you want to know where we can get this from it's the actual protein booster or beetle max that uh, the spider shop do but effectively it's literally just dried shrimp so if you can get your hands on any of the small dried shrimp just use that and just sprinkle a little bit into that substrate just as a little bit of a protein boost little gone off orange there I'll show you what we do with that towards the end and here are our millipedes themselves going along the top of the surface really enjoying life absolutely beautiful just zoom out there and that is the actual setup 20 by 20 tons of forest moss on top again really really washed out well um, the piece at the back is actually a piece of wood covered in moss. Now feeding these guys, I go for bits of pepper, sweet corn, um, salads. You can also use the beetle pots. Um, and that's what I tend to find these guys will eat. Um, and up on screen now, I'm just showing you exactly what I use. So mixed peppers, salad there as well. I also show you a little bit of a cucumber in a moment, but if you go down the grocery store and that you see a strawberry that's got some mold in it, bring that back for them. They will eat and really thank you for, for it as well. They absolutely love the mold that occurs around the fruits and the vegetables that we have. Um, again, that orange with the mold around it, I'll show you what we do with that. But this is the actual enclosure up, up close and personal. In that corner, we have white wood with moss actually growing on it. I rinsed that really, really well. Um, I'm just conscious that because it comes from the UK wildlife, um, I want to make sure there's no centipedes in there. And what I'm doing here is highlighting all those ventilation holes. It's crucial that we provide our rainbow millipedes with as much ventilation as we possibly can. If we don't, they will die, and it is pretty much as simple as that. These guys want to be kept around 20 to 22 degrees and around 70 to 80 percent humidity, which is easily obtained with a couple of spray downs a week. Just maintaining that moisture around those mossy areas and make sure that substrate continues to stay moist also and look at these these have actually been in there a week and they do come out and about and make it look absolutely beautiful and here is that orange with all that mold so i put a little cut in the side of the orange and i peel some of the orange peel off 
Um, just while this is happening on screen, what I will say is if you do this at home, either wear gloves or wash your hands really, really well afterwards, I'd even suggest wearing a face mask as well because the spores on this do come up and off. Um, it's, it's completely your choice, obviously. I just go for picking it off and then washing my hands afterwards. So the actual skin with the mold here, I'm putting that into the enclosure because those millipedes will eat all that mold off that orange and it's literally like a beautiful feast for them. Absolutely awesome. The rest of that orange goes straight into the roach colonies and there is the enclosure. My God absolutely beautiful um a little bit of liking that i found that we've still got hold of so what i thought about this is i'm going to do a bit of an experiment i'm going to put some of this into the enclosure as well see if they are drawn to it see if they kind of start eating it or if they actually leave it alone but what a perfect perfect pet boom so that was the rainbow millipedes care guide um i hope you enjoyed it let me know downstairs if you use anything else to feed these guys with um, apart from what i mentioned in this video now if you go to like a vegetable shop or or a ah, oh, what would you call it um like a market or anything like that just have a look around see where they throw their fruit and the veg out that's gone off that is absolute gold for these guys so the moldy fruit just put a small piece in there watch your millipedes come out and absolutely destroy the mold on it before they actually eat the fruit they're absolutely amazing um what is also good to mention um with these guys is add some springtails into that substrate when you're mixing it now don't just add a handful buy a part Put the whole part of springtails in there and then you're more than likely guaranteed to kind of have a colony recycling itself and growing forever more if you only put a few in they don't reproduce enough and stay on top of things so they eventually die out you have to start big when it comes to the springtails and keep your fingers crossed that actual colony carries on going but if you've got those in there alongside the millipedes you don't have to worry about cleaning and renewing that substrate for around six to seven months which is real good Good news for us as keepers because we can literally let them be and just li let them go in the enclosure and just leave them well alone for months upon end apart from giving them the spray and giving them a little bit of food every now and again also anyway this weekend on sunday is the british tarantula society um the bts an absolutely amazing show the biggest show of the year um it is absolutely phenomenal if you can make it or if you're thinking about coming please come down it is absolutely one of the year's highlights when it comes to inverts i really really enjoy it i think all the other sellers really 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 enjoy kind of the bts meetup pre-bts and uh, the whole build up and the run to run up to it is absolutely amazing it's certainly one of my favorite shows of the year and i cannot wait for it this sunday um anyway guys thank you so much for watching and as always we shall see you again on the next one Thank you.